Alrighty, so this is gonna be a really quick video because I've already made a video on this actually, I don't even remember when, a while ago, there's a video about what Cedar Fair is doing with removing older attractions. But as many of you know, the crypt over at King's Dominion was announced that it's gonna be removed or retired um, and it won't be returning for the 2020 season. And it's another park that were just removed Volcano. And if you look at King's Island, they're removing stuff left, right, and center as well. And a lot of people are questioning, what does this mean? Well, um, for those of you that have been keeping up with uh, Cedar Fair stockholders calls, the conversations that Cedar Fair um, or park representatives have at ACE events and stuff like that, Cedar Fair is kind of in this like time period where they're removing older attractions that have a high cost, low ridership number. So for you, those of you that don't know what that could be, could mean um, a high cost would be high maintenance costs, having to order parts frequently, and uh, just having to replace anything to do with the ride or staffing. Um, and then the ridership numbers is how many people are riding it throughout the year. So for those of you that don't know, a lot of theme parks, uh, especially City Fair, they keep track of the riderships of all their rides. So what they do is they take those two numbers. Does a ride have a really high maintenance cost? And does a ride have a low ridership number? And if those two come into equation, they're going to end up removing the ride. Um, I know I'm using random footage on the screen. This is just something I wanted to make quickly because my DMs are blowing up on Amusement Insider's Instagram page asking me what I think about this. And it's just a for me, I, I get that a lot of people don't like uh, watch the business world or keep up with the business world. This is old news. We already knew this was going to happen. Nothing that Cedar Fair is announcing is shocking me. Not even Vortex going. I'm a little shocked that Wonderland isn't removing more attractions, to be honest. I'd be surprised I, if Wonderland doesn't remove something in the next like year or two. I mean, I wouldn't even be fully shocked if we come in next season and something's missing, uh, to be honest. Uh, as we learned with Orbiter, the park doesn't really announce uh, flat rides being removed unless um, they're kind of forced into announcing it. Because with Orbiter, uh, it was one of those things where I actually reached out to the park and I was like, hey, in the footage, this is being removed. Is it OK if I uh, post it? And they were like, yeah, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yeah, it's being removed, blah, blah, blah. Um, it was along those lines. So Cedar Fair is definitely removing attractions again with a high maintenance cost and low ridership numbers. That's all that's happening. Um, and of course, you're going to see things being replaced. No King's Dominion or King's Island aren't going anywhere. Um, I, no one questioned King's Island, but I just threw that in there. People are being like, well, they keep removing stuff from King's Dominion. Well, King's Dominion's gotten amazing attractions and they have another one coming up in 2021. And that's just going to be the case. Older attractions go, newer attractions come in. And Cedar Fair is definitely working on the beautifying their parks. Yes, I made that word up. Um, just making their parks more beautiful. And this is what happens when you do that. Things are going to get removed. Anyways, I wanted to make this video really quickly to calm some people down. This is normal. This is going to continue to happen. So I'd, I'd expect a lot more announcements over the next couple of years at more parks and possibly even the same parks of rides being removed. Anyways, comment down below what you guys think could be some of the next rides to leave any of the Cedar Fair parks. I'd be curious to think what you guys or know what you guys are thinking. Um, and yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Have a good one, guys. Bye.